All right, speaking of uh, kind of outer space stuff, here's a question. Are we alone? It's a question scientists have literally been unable to answer, but for lots of people, they claim they've had close encounters and there's no question at all. Are you one of those people? Well, we bring this up today because today is World UFO Day. So we're going beyond the headline with a look at the most famous UFO story in Roswell, New Mexico. The summer sky at night is full of wonders. Meteor showers, special constellations, and a spectacular view of our galaxy, the Milky Way. But with all that beauty, many of us at one time or another have asked, are we alone in the universe? Well, this week, 72 years ago, believers say an unidentified flying object crashed deep into Roswell, New Mexico. The U.S. government didn't confirm that it found a UFO, but officials did say they recovered debris. A press release said it was a flying disc, but that was later changed to a weather balloon. Naturally, those who believe aliens exist smelled a little green cover-up. You've got to understand, at the time, people all over the world had a bit of an obsession with the idea of a flying saucer. So this little mystery in New Mexico got a whole lot of attention. After the crash, a rancher found some odd debris near Roswell and turned it into the local sheriff. The sheriff notified the Roswell Army Airfield and soldiers collected the debris. So back to that curious press release for a moment. It was picked up by the Roswell Daily Record with the headline, Rafe captures flying saucer on ranch in Roswell region. The change of <clears throat> terminology from saucer to weather balloon has fueled decades of conspiracy theories that continue to this day. But there are plenty of UFO believers who believe full disclosure is right around the corner. All right, there's a museum in Roswell, New Mexico dedicated to UFOs. It's called the International UFO Museum and Research Center. But the question still remains, does life exist outside of planet Earth? And we've got some late breaking news for you this morning, very early here, 439 on Brightside. It does.